Hello, welcome to the daily English news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm your host, Ilham Ahmadov. The Caspian Construction Week, the largest event in the construction sector of the region, kicked off in Azerbaijan. During the week from October 19th to 21st, the third Azerbaijan International Exhibition Restoration, Reconstruction and Development of Karabakh, the 28th Azerbaijan International Construction Exhibition, the 15th Anniversary International Exhibition, Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning, Water Supply, Plumbing and Swimming Pools, as well as the 11th Caspian International Road Infrastructure and Public Transport Exhibition are held. During the opening ceremony, an appeal from President Ilham Aliyev was read out. During the Caspian Construction Week, stands will also be exhibited in the open air area of the Baku Expo Center. 391 companies from Azerbaijan and many other countries are participating in the event. National and regional stands will be presented. It should be noted that the rebuilt Karabakh exhibition is aimed at attracting international companies to participate in investment projects in Karabakh in the restoration of its infrastructure and the construction of civil facilities. Today, the 6th Congress of Azerbaijani Women was held at the Gulistan Palace with the participation of about 600 representatives from all regions of Azerbaijan. The current event was dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the nationwide leader Heydar Aliyev, as well as the 25th anniversary of the first Women's Congress. Government officials from Turkey, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan, deputies, representatives of government and non-governmental organizations, as well as embassies and international organizations took part in the work of the Congress. President Ilham Aliyev sent a greeting message to the participants of the Congress, in which he noted that our women had made a valuable contribution to strengthening of the socio-economic, scientific and cultural potential of the Republic and emphasized the invaluable services of Azerbaijani women in preserving our cultural and spiritual values. The other state expressed confidence that the Congress will play the role of a useful platform and will direct the women's movement of our country towards the solutions to problems arising from national priorities. Within the framework of four panels, the participants of the event discussed the topics of the main mission of the great leader Hidar Aliyev, gender issues at the legal plane, gender aspects of social economic reforms, challenges and global trends in the implementation of women's rights and other problems. Based on the results of discussions and proposals, a resolution was adopted and an appeal from Azerbaijani women to the president of Azerbaijan was made. Radio jamming by illegal Armenian armed groups operating in Karabakh is being seriously investigated by the state security service. Numerous cases of crimes that could lead to temporary loss of control of civil aircrafts and air crashes have been registered. During the investigations, foreign and homemade electronic warfare systems such as Police 21M, Repellent 1, installed on tracks were found among other special technical means at the disposal of illegal armed groups disarmed as a result of local counterterrorism measures. They were found to be used to limit the reception of signals from satellite navigation systems and to cause radio interference. The Repellent 1 complex detects and tracks signals of control channels and information transmissions of radio communications of airborne vehicles at a distance of up to 35 km, determining their position, direction and speed in space, creating radio interference in the operation of control and navigation systems. It should be noted that illegal Armenian armed groups operating in Karabakh used radio jamming against the navigation systems of civilian aircraft of Azerbaijan Airlines closed joint stock company and foreign airlines using the airspace of the country, which was repeatedly reported to the international community. The intensification of the use of such jamming in 2021-2023 was accompanied by interruptions in the reception of signals from global navigation satellite systems to radar stations located near these territories, obstruction of the reception of signals, as well as the loss of navigation signals on civil aircrafts flying near Karabakh region. A number of crimes have been reported that could have led to aviation accidents. Investigation and operational activities in the criminal case are ongoing. Preparatory process for the Mustafa Kemal Atatürk 2023 Joint Tactical Exercises dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the establishment of the Republic of Turkey to be held in Azerbaijan continues. In accordance with the plan, combat aircrafts worked out actions on takeoff and landing, performing difficult pilotage maneuvers at low and medium altitudes, determining the coordinates of imaginary enemy's ground targets as well as conducted aerial reconnaissance and other tasks. During the training exercises, military pilots accurately fulfilled all the assigned tasks.
You can get in touch with us by contacting Astave Khabar's hotline number 051-511-1956 through which you can report events you come across of as well as share your suggestions and remarks. You can also contact us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.